Charlie loved his pacifier. He called it his binky, and it was very special to him. The binky made Charlie feel warm and snuggly. It reminded him of home. It calmed him down when he felt sad or angry. Charlie used his binky all the time. Sometimes the binky fell on the ground and got dirty. Sometimes Charlie and Mommy lost it. Mommy did not love the binky at all. Most of all, Mommy worried that the binky was not good for Charlie's teeth. Please take the binky out, Mommy asked Charlie one day. I can't understand what you're saying with the binky in your mouth. Please take your binky out and eat your dinner, Daddy asked one night. You can't chew with the binky and food in your mouth at the same time. You're too big for a binky, Mommy said. Something had to change. It was time for Charlie to give up his binky. I have an idea, said Mommy. Let's try to use your binky only at bedtime. We can make a very special box for your very special binky. When the sun comes up, you can put your binky in the box. When it's time for bed, you can take your binky out of the box. Then maybe one night you won't need to use your binky at all. Charlie didn't want to give up his binky. That would be a big change, thought Charlie, but he decided to give it a try. Mommy and Charlie found a box that was just the right size. First, they painted the box rainbow colors. Charlie loved rainbows. Next, they cut out special pictures and glued them to the box. When the box was finished, Charlie found a special spot on a shelf and carefully placed his binky inside the box. Remember, Mommy said, whenever you wake up, put the binky in the box. And when it's bedtime, you can take it out again. Okay, said Charlie. That sounds like a good plan. I can do that. Mommy gave Charlie a big hug. That's my big boy, she said, smiling. Sometimes Charlie thought about his binky a lot. He wanted it during the day. He wanted it when he felt tired or sad. I'm not sure I'm ready for this change, thought Charlie. But every day, putting the binky in the box got easier. And easier. And easier. Soon, Charlie could play with the other children at the park and not think about the binky. He could build make-believe castles in his bedroom and not think about the binky. He could go all day long and not think about the binky. One night, Charlie was very tired. After Mommy read him a bedtime story, Charlie looked at his binky box on the shelf. He was too sleepy to reach up and get it. Maybe I don't need my binky tonight, thought Charlie. Maybe I can try to go to sleep without it. And he did. When Charlie woke up the next morning, he couldn't wait to tell Mommy and Daddy. The binky was still in the box on the shelf, right where he had left it. I didn't need my binky last night, Charlie announced. That's terrific, Mommy shouted. I'm so proud of you, said Daddy. You are really growing up. To celebrate, Mommy and Daddy took Charlie out for a special pizza party. I can talk so much better without my binky, said Charlie. You sure can, said Mommy. That night, Charlie looked at his special binky box and whispered, I love you, binky, but I don't need you anymore. I'm a big boy now. Maybe Charlie was very tired, but he thought he heard the binky whisper back. That's okay, Charlie. I understand. He took the binky box off the shelf and slipped it in his drawer. I think I'm going to like this change, thought Charlie, as he drifted off to happy dreams.